Hello and welcome guys to another video and this time I'm going to compare Mesco 112 scale and Batman Hot Toys 1.6 scale. My Hot Toys figure I have for more than 10 years now and gee this figure is still looking good. Even 10 years but still looking good. I mean you can't you know make uh, certain poses because of the rubber you know it's really stiff uh, but well you know it's been 10 years but this figure is still looking good so we're going to focus on face expressions emblem belt boots some of the accessories and the cape so let's start so here we have the accessories. I'm gonna take photo of uh, each and one of them for a closer look. And now let's go ahead and check the first face expression. So here we have Mesco. Uh, second uh, head without moving eyes. We're going to check that one later on. Likeness to Michael Keaton, 100%. No doubt about it. And now, Hot Toys. Over 10 years, this figure is here with me. And gee, it's still looking good. time on Mesco. And one more time. Hot toys. Here we have open mouth face expression. Hot toys. Really nice. And here we have Mesco. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Them both looking really great. Trying to focus on Let's Go and then on the Hot Toys. Yeah, one more time, Mesco. Really nice, really good job, Mesco. Hot Toys. Okay, let's go for the last face expression. 
So here we have last phrase expression, battle damage, hot toys. Really good job, hot toys. This figure is more than 10 years old. Come on. And it's still looking good. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty good job. There's a little difference when it comes to um, how blood looks on Batman's cheek and face overall. But the expression and the detail is there. time here hot toys emblem on Hot Toys Batman Let's check out the bat belt now We start with Hot Toys The belt is magnetic, so we are able to attach the bat gun and our Batman is ready for action. And same goes to Mesco. Some people say that this yellow belt on Hot Toys and Mesco should be more golden kind of color well it depends because um, in the movie sometimes it's more yellowy sometimes it's more goldy so it's really hard to determine what exact color of the bat belt is Now arms Pretty good job, nice girl Some Hot toys Here we have shoes or boots, I should say. Both figures, really good job. Obviously, Hot Toys have more details. Here we have the capes, Mesco, 
Mesco, Mesco, Mesco. This cape is just awful. Without extra wires inside, it's just like an open umbrella. It's too thick, too heavy and it's too short. On scale 1 to 10, well, I think I'm gonna give it 3. And here is Hot Toys one. This cape, more than 10 years, still looking good. Uh, the material is uh, much softer, but still is quite too heavy. But for the sake of display and photography, it's okay. But I know that this, um, this year there will be updated version of DX09 2.0 and that figure will have better cape, hopefully, we'll see. So yeah, these are the capes. I almost forgot about this face expression from Mesco with movable eyes but for obvious reason I don't like to um, have this particular face on my figure for the sake of few photos yeah it's okay but we all know that Mesco yeah, could do a better job on this. And one more time, hot toys. Over 10 years old. Oh, come on. This figure, this head sculpt is just... Yeah, it's Michael Keaton. No doubt about it. So here we have one more look at Hot Toys and Mesco Batman 1989 Michael Keaton figure. Both figures look so so good. Mesco and your bigger brother at toys. Alright, so this is it guys, I hope you like this video, if you have any questions, please leave comment down below, if you're new, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, and see you next time.